This time we're in Puglia, right down south on the heel of Italy. Join us as we tour this region and our first stop here, Polignano Amare in this beautiful cliff-top town. On Italy's southern Adriatic coast, Polignano is most famous for Calaporto Beach, bordered by an impressive Roman bridge combined with its ancient cliff-top dwellings. The scenery and architecture are stunning and it's a great place to start our Puglia travel series. We're walking around the old town part now. It's about 10 past 8 in the morning, hence why it's pretty quiet. But the sun's already getting hot and there are people about. The famous beach that you saw, well, if you want to get a space on that, you've got to be up before 8 and on it because it gets rammed. If you do decide to stay in the old town area, then this is the kind of street you'll be walking around to get to your accommodation. We're here pretty early in the morning, so it's nice and quiet, but it's quite easy to get lost on the cobbled streets, but it's beautiful. And then every now and then you come across a really amazing viewing platform out over the ocean. Really nice. Cliff Edge accommodation or restaurants will set you back a small fortune, with Guada Palazzes coming in at around 300 euros a person for dinner at this famous cave restaurant. If you want to get into the water and experience an up-close and personal view of the cliffs, then there are plenty of boat tours and pedalo hire. Check out TripAdvisor for the best one for you. Like, I know it's August, so it's peak season. It's, it is busy here, mostly Italian tourists. But like, they do seem to have an issue with bin collection here. Like, pretty much every bin I've seen around town is chock-a-block, full of, like, crap, rubbish. So, yeah, sort it out. Some amazing places to eat in this town as well, ranging from like pizza slice right up to you know Michelin star, real high end stuff. Um, a couple of meals that we've had already, obviously Italian, but the ingredients in that are so fresh, everything tastes really amazing, really vibrant flavors, lovely. Gelatos everywhere, gelateria everywhere, and the ice cream is so good. We really encourage you to get up early one morning and walk around the old town like this. It's so different to later in the day. There are a number of little cute cafes in the courtyards and even a few local craft shops seem to have already set up stall. It's truly the best time of day in Polignano.
We've been going to a place called Millennium Cafe for our gelatos, and it's been excellent. I've been having a straciatella flavor, which is like a chocolate chip. So I had some other pronounceable one, which is like a kind of chocolate brownie, but it's so good. Domenico Mondugno was born in Polignano. You may well remember his famous song, Volare. He is now immortalized with a statue on the seafront and everyone comes to sing the song in front of his memorial. No, I'm not doing it. Huh? I'm not doing it. Why not? It's embarrassing. Valare, do 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 do. Valare, do 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 do. Something like that, anyway. This place behind me, Pascaria, it's open from midday to midnight and has a bit of a reputation in Italy. I think there's three or four branches around the country, but this is the original, we believe, and they're famous for doing big seafood sandwiches. I've got my eye on a raw tuna and burrata one with some pesto drizzled drizzle over the top, which looks delicious. I think they do an octopus one as well. Every time we've walked by, there's been a massive queue. So we plan on coming down here around midday, just as they open and beat the queues. So we're in the queue and uh, just waiting now, probably about 15, 20 people in front of us. Look like it maybe opened a little bit early, but uh, the next problem is gonna be trying to uh, let them know what we want to order in Italian because we don't speak Italian, so we'll see. So we just managed to order. Uh, we've gone for like a panini with raw tuna, burrata, the pesto one, which looks gorgeous. Our number is 79. So we're hearing, listening out for 79, I think is the Italian version. Got it. 79, it's looking good. <laughs> I like the turtle bread roll, turtle shell bread roll. Let's go find something to eat it. So, what it looks like inside. Some huge tomato slices, big old dollop of burrata, and then said 100 grams of the tuna tartare. Looks pretty messy to eat, but I'm gonna go for it. It's like a big hamburger. <laughs> you might want to hold that under there. Because it's going to go everywhere. It's going to just take a bite. Mm. Oh, wow. <laughs> the burrata is so creamy. You can really get that kind of hit of pesto. The tomatoes are fresh. And the tuna is like so soft. Really delicious. Wow, delicious. We're staying about a 10 minute walk out of the town. Because we've got a car, 
um, in the town centre, there is nowhere to park your car. So it's kind of awkward. At least here we've got some off-street parking, which has been a bit of a godsend, really, because otherwise you'll just be driving around for hours trying to find a parking space. But the 10-minute walk into town is quite nice. And yeah, once you're there, you don't have the car to worry about and you're sort of free to roam around. Having said that, there is a train station in town that you can catch to the major towns on the coast like Brindisi or Bari. So if, if you plan on just staying here, then probably recommend taking the train and not bothering with a car. There are some really cute options to stay in town. Airbnb is quite big here as well. Um, but yeah, budget wise, you're talking like anything from maybe 120 pounds up to yeah, maybe even a thousand pounds a night here. A lot of the streets were closed off and pedestrianised whilst we were there. In the early afternoon, the town starts to come alive with a sea of people making their way to the beach or for some lunchtime snacks. There is a great deal of choice and usually the places with the longest lines are the most popular and probably the best. So I've got a Pomodoro Classico, is that, uh, what was it? No, Pom Pomodoro Mozzarella Classico. El Classico or something like that I think it is. So it's like, I think it's deep fried mozzarella. Uh, looks a little bit like a British pasty actually. Um, but it's pretty hot at the moment, so we'll give it a second and then we'll try some. Molten lava. Mozzarella. And tomato. It's like, oh, it's like a beating heart. It's like really stringy mozzarella but you can taste the tomatoes, it's really nice. So that was just two euros, it's like an afternoon snack, I suppose, that people uh, seem to buy here. It was quite a queue, so um, give it a go. It's nice, try it. August is the busiest and warmest month, and the sun keeps shining long into the evening. If you're looking for a fancy sit-down meal for dinner, you best research this and book in advance to avoid disappointment. Expect to pay upwards of 100 euros for a three-course meal with a bottle of wine included. It's a pretty expensive town to stay in. Equally, a more rustic meal can be found in many bars willing to serve you a beer and a delicious pizza for around 15 euros. Burn myself. <laughs> Really taste the tomatoes and the cheese and everything. After dark, the vibe in the town changes and it's time for good food, drinks in the outdoor bars and strolling around the markets that have sprung up in the late afternoon. This is the busiest time of day when all the locals and families are out and about, but there's a real party atmosphere that goes on late into the night.
for us, it was time for one last gelato. Strassiatella flavor, which is like a, I guess like a chocolate chip, vanilla ice cream, proper gelato, really thick, super creamy, delicious. Next time, we'll take the 15 minute train ride to the surprisingly large fishing village of Monopoly. It's less touristy, and with cheaper prices, it could be a budget alternative to staying in Polignano. Lots more to come from our Mammoth Puglia travel series. Remember to subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Happy travels from the Memory Seekers.